Welcome back to your chapter 11 video lecture series where we're going to talk about section 11.7 on the muscles of the pelvic floor. Our pelvic floor is going to be formed by three layers of muscles and fascia. This is collectively known as our pelvic diaphragm and is going to help to support the pelvic viscera or organs that we would have in here. So we'll start off by discussing the perineum. This is a diamond shaped region between the lower appendages and it's bounded by our pubic symphysis, which we would find at the top of the diamond over here. You could see it a little bit better in this female view and our coccyx, which is found posteriorly here and the two ischial tuberosities, which you can see is a little bit wider spaced in the female. We're going to divide this diamond into two triangles that are divided by the transverse line between these ischial tuberosities here. So this top triangle is going to be called our urogenital triangle, and this is going to contain the external genitalia and the urethra in both males and females. And the anal triangle down over here in blue is going to contain the anus. So first let's talk about some of the muscles in the anal triangle. One of the most important muscles here is the levator ani muscle. And we're going to have this muscle form the anterior and lateral parts of the pelvic diaphragm. And we have three muscles that are important to this. Unfortunately, in this figure in your book, it doesn't identify these muscles specifically. But here we would have the iliococcygeus, uh, I would say, kind of uh, placed most lateral. Then we have your pubococcygeus, which would be the next one in. And then not really pictured well over here, um, but I think we might see it in a deep, deeper view in a figure coming up, is the puborectalis. And this muscle has to relax in order to assist in defecation. Continuing on with our muscles in the anal triangle, we also have the external anal sphincter here, and this is going to constrict the anal opening, but we're going to use voluntary contraction in order to relax this muscle and defecate. Now moving on to some muscles in our urogenital triangle, we have the bulbospongiosis muscle. And that you're going to see, I feel like you see it the best in the male over here. It's moving along up in here. But we also have this muscle within females. And you could see it right along over here. And this muscle in females is going to narrow the vaginal opening. And it also helps to stiffen the clitoris. Whereas in males, it is going to assist to eject urine or semen, and it stiffens the penis. And by the way, the penis and the clitoris are homologous structures, so they came from the same tissues when you were an embryo. And then moving on to our urogenital diaphragm, which is going to be a deeper layer in here now. Um, first, we have the external urethral sphincter here in the male and here within the females. This is going to constrict the urethra and we have to voluntarily contract the, or sorry, voluntarily relax this muscle in order to urinate. And the last muscle to learn about is this deep transverse perineal muscle, which is going to support our pelvic organs.